Hello, this is I'm Matit with Samuel Lake. This channel is dedicated to helping young mathematicians reach their full potential as soon as possible. And in this lesson, we will be having a look into the commutative law of logic. The commutative law of um, logical reasoning is comprise, comprises of two uh, major parts. And um, the first part states that P and Q is equal to Q and P. And the second part states P or Q is equal to Q or P. So please remember to hit the like button if you get value from this lesson. So and subscribe for more educational content like this. So this law simply implies that um, conjunction and disjunction are commutative, just like addition and subtraction, uh, addition and multiplication in algebra are commutative. So let's go on and draw the truth table for each of these um, compound statement and um, compare the um, truth values on the truth table. So the first one, P and Q. The four possible conditions is true, 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 false, false, true, and false, false, for as the truth value for P and for Q respectively. So let's go and see the and statement for P and Q. For and statement, both statements need to be true, or else the truth value for the compound statement is false. And as you can see here, for all the three other conditions, um, either one of the statements is false and the other is true. So the truth value is false. So let us see the truth table for Q or P. This time, Q first. So, and um, we're going to compare the truth table and see um, if they are the same. So we needed Q and P on the table. This time, it's Q and P. The other time, it was P and Q. So the four possible conditions are true, 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 false, false, true, and false, false. So um, um, that is um, that one is true. And this is false. So let's go on and do that. So for and statement to be true, if you still remember, so um, both statements need to be true. And for every other condition, if one is true or both, if one is false or both is false, then the truth value for the compound statement and statement will be false. So and compare the truth table, you will notice that the truth value on both tables is identical. And that proves the very first part of the commutative law. So P and Q is equal to Q and P. So let's go on and see the other part of this law for disjunction or statement. P or Q is equal to Q or P. So let's draw the truth table for P or Q first. So we need P on the table, we need Q, and we needed P or Q. Okay, let's go on and do that. So put down the four possible conditions, true, 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 false, false, true, and true, true. For the truth as the truth value for P and for Q respectively. So for all statements to be true, you just need one of the two statements to be true. So you notice both is true is true are true here. And one of the statements is true in the other condition, while only in the last case, both statements happen to be false. And there you have it. Well, let's go on and draw the truth table for Q or P. This time Q first, right? So and you see if it is the same as the truth table obtained for P. Or Q. So, and this is the commutative law of logic. Please, if you get value from this lesson, remember to hit the like button and subscribe. Okay. So, um, Q, the four possible condition is true, 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 false, false, true, and false, false. Since we are having only two um, simple statements involved in the compound statement. So. For all statements to be true, remember, as long as one of the statements is true, then the truth value for the compound statement will be, will be true. And only the last one happened to be false. And if you compare that, you will notice that both, uh, both tables ap look, appears identical. And this is the commutative law of logic. Conjunction and disjunction are commutative, just like the ad addition and multiplication in algebra are commutative. So um, this is the algebraic law of logic. This is one of the algebraic law of logic. You can look into the other algebraic law of logic on this channel so, so that you, um, if you would like to do that. And please remember to hit the like button 
and subscribe for more educational content like this. And see you next time. Well, until next time, keep marching it and keep winning.